Coalition negotiations have now taken longer than in 2017, though Christopher Luxon's adamant he's making good progress and is, quote, pretty close to forming a government. The National Party leader had meet more meetings with ACT and New Zealand First in Auckland today and confirmed ministerial roles are being allocated. Here's political reporter Lloyd Burr. After two weeks under the cone of silence, Luxon finally allowing a peek underneath. Oh, very good. We had a very productive day yesterday. Optimistic to repeat that today. We're pretty close and uh, you know, for us it's about um, you know, just working through the last couple of issues. Confirming they've now moved to discussing ministerial appointments. We're already discussing some of that uh, already with, with both parties. Yep. And where the negotiations have been prickly. Yeah, there's been moments of you know, directness, um, as there should be, and there needs to be, because you know, we're going to build, we have to build trust uh, with each other. His deputy expanding on that. At the end of the day, everyone's got to get their ego, put it to one side. Referring to Winston Peters, perhaps, and him ghosting them on Tuesday after reportedly being offended by Nationals' offering. My observation of Winston Peters is he is someone who has been in politics a very long time. I think it would take more than a document to offend him. I wouldn't overread all too much into the drama. I appreciate it's a bit of drama, but uh, I just... A bit of drama. It's a big power play from Winston, wasn't it? No, rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Absolute what, did he not do it to teach you a lesson? No, absolute rubbish. The rest of Luxon's negotiating cabal joining him too. Paul Goldsmith, Simeon Brown and scootering in Chris Bishop. Meeting first with Peters. Hi, folks. Hi, Peters. <laughs> How's progress? Um, well, it's pretty substantial, actually. Were you offended by the document that the National Party gave you last week? Uh, next question. That question, why didn't you make it to Wellington for meetings on Tuesday? I had a meeting that was uh, occasioned by a request from an overseas foreign minister who was coming out of the PIF in Rarotonga and heading off to uh, APEC. And he wanted to see me in Auckland, so I had to cancel five flights to fit in with him. These Auckland talks are not cheap. The daily rate of these conference rooms is around a thousand bucks. Is the taxpayer picking up the bill for these oh, look, hotel I'm not, I'm conference not sure rooms? Who's paying the bills? I can give you an answer for that. But I mean, but the reality is we're doing it in a very cost-effective way. Is it wasteful really... spending when you've got a free parliament in Wellington? Uh, no. See ya. Thank okay. You. Money, not a worry. When power is on the line. Mm, Lloyd joins us now live from outside the Quarters Hotel. Lloyd, is there much action there this evening? Yeah, she's been a pretty um, busy last 40 minutes, to be honest. Winston Peters came out around 40 minutes ago after a whopping nearly three-hour-long meeting, absolute marathon meeting. It was meant to last around an hour, but it lasted nearly three hours. He came out, didn't have too much to add, but did say that they're focusing on uh, policy rather than portfolios. Then he jumped into his big black Beamer SUV, took off. Then David Seymour came in not long after that, pulled up in his taxi, and in he went. Here's what both of those leaders had to say. Well, it's been substantial you know, talks and developments yet to be finalised but very close to being in my view. Certainly I, I feel like we are on the cusp of, of getting a deal done um, but of course that always depends on other people that you're doing the deal with. Yes, yeah, so Newsom understands that ACT has been talking about portfolio alle allegation, uh, um, allocations for who, who, who its MPs and what ministerial portfolios they're going to have. There still are some policy hurdles and some disagreements they're having over policy. But um, all in all, today has been a pretty productive day, a day closer to getting a deal done. We just don't know which day that's going to be. Lloyd Burr, thanks for the update.